CataractCoach.com. Cortical cleaving hydrodissection. Fully separate the cortex and remove it with the phaco probe. Now, this is a technique I learned from Howard Fine many, many years ago. So our operating guest certain here has a nice looking capsule rexus here. And the trick here is the hydrodissection, cortical cleaving hydrodissection. So to separate the cortex from the capsule bag. So cannula goes in and tenting it up. And you tent it up and you get that fluid wave. So the fluid wave is between the exterior of the cortex, the outer part of the cortex, and the capsule bag. And that'll free up the cortex completely. And now watch, routine case at this point, at the end of FACO, there should be very little lens cortex remaining. So let's watch our technique here. Let's see, going in with the FACO probe, probably chop technique. Looks like a horizontal chop, or maybe a combo chop. A horizontal chop, there it is. Going around the lens equator and separate. There you two halves, beautifully done. Very nice. Yeah, I first met Howard Fine maybe more than 20 years ago in these meetings. In fact, I even did a trip with Howard Fine to Vietnam in 2006, and where he was really an amazing doctor to learn from. He had so many great pearls, and he was prolific in our field. He's since retired, and he's retired to his home in Eugene, Oregon there. But he talked about and published cortical cleaving hydrodissection, a way of just using the BSS cannula to separate out all that cortex. By the way, check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great stuff there. You already know about the book and the curriculum series, but let me tell you about the podcast growing every week in popularity. Such an amazing podcast. In fact, I should call Howard Fine up and get my podcast. He's that amazing. Anyway, back to our case here. Taking out the rest of the nucleus here, you see it comes up pretty easy. Now look in the capture bag. Look back there. Really? You see no cortex. Look at that. So it was a pretty easy high section here. And it cleaved all the cortex off the bag, or the vast majority of it. Now, you've seen other surgeons with really neat techniques. You've seen the Rossitelli spin technique, where Dr. Rossitelli spins the nucleus many, many times to really separate all the cortex. And then he's able to just remove the entire lens material with just the phaco probe and no IA probe, period. And so these are neat techniques here. Now, our guest surgeon here does a beautiful job taking on these last little bits of lens material of the nucleus, and now look in the capsule bag. In fact, beautifully done. There really is a minimal uh, degree of cortex, if any. So right after this, you could actually implant the lens, and then whatever little tiny wispy piece, pieces of lens material are left, you can get them out at the time of viscoelastic removal. So look at that. That's a clean-looking bag. Very little lens material left. So let's see what's going on now. Now just... um. I mean, polishing up a little bit, hydro polishing maybe. A little hydro polishing. Is that viscoelastic or BSS? Maybe BSS. All right, let's see what's happening next. Here comes the viscoelastic. That was BSS then. Here's the viscoelastic. Getting that bag nice and full. Yeah, you see the little tiny lens, wispy things, but those will come out as soon as you put the IA probe in the eye to remove the viscoelastic. Here comes the lens, lens single piece of acrylic lens going in the capsule bag. Come on, deliver, deliver, deliver. Beautiful. Very nice. So definitely, if you want to try this, try cortical cleaving hydrodissection. It's not that challenging. You can use the existing instruments you have now. Just one little caveat. When nothing is weighing down the capture bag, the capture bag can sometimes flop a little bit more if you have unstable fluidics. So you operate, you tend to see a little bit of a bounce to the iris as you aspirate pieces of the lens down. Then you may not have the most balanced fluidics. And if nothing's weighing down the posterior capsule, then it's very floppy. And if you have bad fluidics, it can come and hit your phaco tip, and then that's a sad story. But you can see here now the eye probe is able to clean up whatever little lens material is left, take out the viscoelastic, and that's a clean case. So cortical cleaving higher resection, I think you probably get it. 80-ish percent of cases can be cleaned up pretty nicely with just the cortical cleaving higher resection and not having to do much cortex removal. But again, obviously, it depends on the case and depends on your technique. And as you do it more and more, you'll get better and better at it. And here, look, under a little under polishing of the anterior capsule rim. I like that. It's a nice looking case here. Get that lens centered. I also like that, that generous rexus. That rexus is going to overlap nicely. And it's nice and big. Oh, wow, look at that hop and floater there in the vitreous. Look at that floater. Whoosh. That's like a big old rice ring. Now I understand when patients complain about floaters. I mean, I'd complain if I had that thing too. So I know it's tempting. You just put a part, playing a trocar in and just go get that thing out, right? 
But no, we'll leave that for another date. Again, look at that Rex is overlapping the optic nicely. Nice big, obviously a very skilled surgeon. And now hydrating up the incisions. And look at that. So I want you to try it. Cortical cleaving hydrodissection. A neat technique. Again, described by Howard Fine. I'll send him an email today. Ask him to be on our podcast. And check it out. You'll learn a lot.